Hey folks, Dave back here in a messy Studio B. And uh, the first game of the night uh, that I had to work got canceled, so I got a, about an hour I can sit here and show you off a few things. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the new um, Strat PC hockey game as soon as I get my, uh, my, my chat room up and open here on my phone. There we go. All righty. As a 007 tunes in here. So let's take a look at what we got here. Okay. Um, not going to lie. Not a lot of major changes to this game visually. Okay. But let's let's take a look at what they, they do have. Okay. So let me see. What I'm going to do is make sure that I have everything all set here. I'm, I'm using StreamYard for this. It's not the best way to do this, but I thought it'd just be a little bit easier tonight. So I'm going to add this to the stage, and we're going to take this away here. Okay, here we go. So let's read along together, shall we? What's new in version 2023? A lot of it is kind of behind-the-scenes stuff, okay? Uh, the first thing here is the, the player game log report. It's been added to allow you to filter and display game logs for every skaters in the goalie in the league. So again, if you're into stats... You can go into a stat report and you can filter uh, and display the different game logs, which is, I guess that would be kind of neat. So you could see, you know, what happened to each player in each game. And I did look at that from time to time, especially with the goalies, like how they do it and this and that and the other thing. But you can filter out uh, all kinds of things. You can sort and separate, I guess. So the player game log report has been updated in this game. The other thing is that number two is create the playoff league. And it says the feature will automatically create a playoff league for your league. For historical replays of NHL and WHA seasons, it will suggest which teams qualify for the playoffs. For draft leagues, it will allow you to specify which teams to include, such as top four teams in each division, yada, yada, yada. This feature will be a real time saver as it performs most of the work necessary to create your playoff league in a matter of seconds. So that's kind of neat. So if we can create the playoffs a little bit quicker, then that's a good thing too. Uh, win probability, that's something they were adding in the baseball game, and I think they had it in the basketball game too, where as you play along, you can see what the win probability is. I think that's how that goes. So we'll um, we'll, we'll see if that appears. That'll be a, probably the first visual thing we'll notice if that's in the game as well. It's on the game rink in the area by the goalie that shows the team offense. Okay. Now I am going to be using the old setup the classic setup if you will not the new new and improved setup so we'll see if it's in the it's in the if it's in the old one or if i have to set up in the new one so we'll find out if that's in there um uh, they've included number four here they've included the hockey rules as a pdf so that's kind of neat so if you go into the folder here on the computer it, you can call up all the, the actual scanned rules of the board game. So that's kind of neat to have, especially when you're playing a PC game. I like to have the rules handy when I'm playing a game so I can kind of follow along. Uh, this is kind of been a big thing, too. The, the computer manager shorthanded logic. In previous versions of the game, the computer manager would sometimes be too aggressive when deciding whether to shoot, uh, whether to ice the puck or select an action deck card so sometimes it would go with the action deck a little bit more which is a lot more risky so the computer manager logic has been improved so it only refers to the action deck and more appropriate situations so that's good that's going to be good uh the face off to any player if the chart returns any player result for a computer managed team the game will now utilize the any player possession order list on a computer manager to determine which player should get the puck uh, it was previously awarded to one of the defensemen, but now on the computer manager, it'll go in order of that. Okay, so note that according to the game rules, any player includes a player who took the face off. So they've they fixed that. Um, this player attrition, number seven, in rare cases, a team may run out of players to fill a uh, particular position due to injuries or penalties. Additional substitutions like this have been identified and handled in the code. If there's nobody remaining to play left D, any player in that team will play out of will play that position. Um, it, you know, we'll, we'll play out, an out of position slot at lefty is what it is, and it will take appropriate substitutions when controlling a team. Okay, so that's been fixed as well. Some of these things I didn't really notice because I didn't play a lot, but it's kind of neat to know. This is the one I really was kind of focused on: statistics package for empty net goals, and this is the one that I really wanted to focus on. 
The display of empty net goals in relation to goals allowed has been standardized throughout the statistics package. Empty net goals are no longer included in the goals against totals except on displays where empty net goals are not displayed. Um, and, and that's kind of a big deal. I'm surprised it took this long to get this into the game. It's something that I didn't notice because, again, I don't play a lot of full seasons with this. But, yeah, if you're including empty net goals under um, – the goals allowed, especially on the goalies, boy, that that's a killer because the you know the goalies, you know, I'm not sure if it was on the goalies or not, but it says as as far as goals allowed, it's going to have goals allowed and empty net goals. So empty net goals are no longer included in goals allowed except on displays where the uh, the empty net goals are not displayed. For example, the team's primary stats report the individual goalies' goals allowed do not include empty net goals, and that's how it should be. Okay, so the empty net goals should not count against the goalie. So that is good. So I'm glad that they did that. Uh, there's also support for the newly released 66-67 season. So that's been updated and added. So if you want to play the newer version, you do have to get the new game, as well as the 76-77 WHJ. I'm interested in that one here because if you look at this here, it says, uh, important note, Minnesota... I think that was the Fighting Saints. They folded halfway through the season, and most of their players signed on with other WHA teams, leaving just five players in the Minnesota roster at the end of the season. Because they distribute the season with use auto transaction switch checked on. Um, additionally, open the rosters have been also processed, so the computer managers have generated something or other. So, um, so that way, upon installing the season, Minnesota has a full roster of players, and you can start playing games immediately. So I do like that fact. That um, that they fixed Minnesota because that was one of those weird situations where the the Minnesota Fighting Saints did not finish the season despite despite <laughs> nothing to see here. The teams in the leagues in great financial standing. I do I do remember something about that back in the day, uh, but it would be I, I I might have to pick up that season and play Minnesota and maybe I can maybe they won't fold. I don't know if there's a way I can do that. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And. Uh, let's see. It is. Uh, let me see. Some bugs fixed when they pulled the, when you pull in the goalie when skating three and three and four and four, and a team's goalies pulled the opposite team was incorrectly referencing the short-handed section of the action card instead of the regular section. So that's a big deal. So that's a big, big bug fix right there. Great job there. Um, and then in the team notebook, the total goalie goals against column on the goalie statistics tab was including empty net goals, so the computer shooting percentage were incorrect. The goals against column is now shown with the empty net goals factored out, so the percentage will be displayed correctly. Good. So they fixed, basically they fixed the empty net uh, statistics in this game. I kind of like that, so I'm glad that they did that. All righty. And now in the chat room here, uh, 007 is joined by Sports Time Machine. And a 007 says he likes when he plays inside pitch. He has the rules PDF open to double check a rule if there's something you don't understand. I like to follow along when I'm playing a PC game. That's me. When I'm playing a PC game, I like to follow along. And I mean, that's just me. Sometimes I'll kick back, feet up, and just click around. I don't care. But I, I like to know what's going on. Even when I play the PC games, especially a game, you know, kind of an open engine type of game when you can see the dice and you see what happens and there are cards. So in theory, I could have the cards and follow along. I like to know that I'm kind of following along and I know what's going on. And I do that a lot with um, the replay baseball and the replay basketball and the few other games. I like to, I, I want to solve the solve the puzzle as we say you know so when something comes up in a dice roll what just happened i want to know why i uh, just don't spoon feed me i want to know why and so i do like to have that as well most off spy is the utility that comes to strat hockey game uh improved from the last version it, it comes with the version three of this of the um the thing i didn't care for it i i like the original one better I don't know why it was supposed to be better. I think one of the things was it had to do with shots and goals. Something about if you if you recorded a goal, it counted as two shots or something like there was something funky in the utility that that people were complaining about. That's all I remember about that. I haven't used it that much. I do like the older utility. I mean, the, the interface was a little bit better. I guess on this one here, uh, I don't know if I've shown that off or not because that new one came out with the last version. I think I think I could be very wrong. Um, it, it, yeah, it was a bit of a a mess there the way they did it, and I'm glad they worked on it. I'm kind of hoping they still do and they make it a little bit better. I would love to be able to import games back and forth. I really would. I would play probably more Strat if I could play a game and import a game. 
you know, whichever. But anyway, um, so we're down at the. Oh, you can't see me, by the way, because I'm um, I'm off screen right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let let's play a little bit of this and see what we got going on. Okay, so first things first. I see the win probability. So if I look on the top line, which is kind of up over here. Offense three, defense three, win probability 46%. So the visiting team has a 46% chance of doing that. And for some reason, I don't have the Calgary logo in here. It didn't save the Calgary logo. Um, and that's going to bug me. So let me put that back. So let me go um, save the game. No, let's just close the game. If I can get this right, close the game. Okay. Let's go to my 1980-81 team update. And let's see why Calgary doesn't have a logo in front of Reggie Lemlin. Calgary. Yeah, I didn't I didn't uh, save that. That's what I didn't do. All right, the Calgary Flames. We're going to pick the red. Uh, I did save the rink, though. All right, so let's save that and close that. And now if we go back into my game, we'll put the logo there. No, it didn't put the logo there, so I got a problem with the logo over there. Okay, we'll figure it out. Um, so let's, let's get going here. So off the face-off. And I got things really speeded up over here as well, okay? So Wilson gets the puck, and the Flyers have it. I'll be controlling the Calgary Flames. So Wilson, so on the flip of the card, uh, it's an inside shot for the right D. We have the possibility to intimidate. So does Reinhardt want to intimidate? Yeah, we'll intimidate. All right, so it's going to be a two. Opponent takes away the puck. It's a possible penalty, and he may get a penalty, and it is a penalty. All righty, so we go to the secondary chart. And looks like it's going to be a two-minute power play again. I I don't follow along with the power plays too good. Yeah, oh, the logo. Yeah, but I should have the logo for the team as well. The team logo should be in there, and as well as uh, maybe because I I got a um, I saved the game. Maybe that's why. Because see, see Calgary's in black. It should be in red. So something something didn't go right. I didn't save something in time. All right, so we got a power play right off the bat. We played 21 seconds, and Reinhardt's in the box. And and what I like about these. Um, this old view is you can move things around. You can't stretch anything except the play-by-play, -play, but you can move things around. And this you can stretch. I like how I can move this around. So uh, this is how I set it up. I get visitors on the left, home on the right, clock over the top of the rink, and then the penalties at the bottom, and then all my play-by-play -play is nice and big. Nice and big. Yeah, the, the, the center logo on the rink, that's a rink logo. So for some reason, I didn't save it correctly before I saved the game, so it's probably not going to find the Calgary logo, which is fine. We'll be okay. All right, so let's go off the face-off here. And so it's a roll of a 12. Superior right wing. So it looks like uh, Reggie Leach has the puck, and he's going to try to penetrate, and he rolled the dice, and he got a 16. So he needed... And that's the other thing I liked about this, that they did um, a couple of versions ago, is they showed you the penetration success. So I needed a 1 to 13 out of 20, and I rolled a 16, and so I didn't, uh, well, the computer did not uh, penetrate my defense for the inside shot. It also showed the, the tendency roll, um, so the tendency rating is 4, and the D30, it's a D30 roll, was 16. So it's, it, it kind of does that as well. All righty, so let's go to the next. So Leach could not penetrate. Oh, Clement has the puck. Uh, let's see if we can skate. So Clement has the puck with a three. And that's a successful skate, so we killed some time. Let's try to skate again. I like to skate twice. And no, he failed to skate. He loses the puck. So Philadelphia takes over the puck, and Reggie Leach tries to penetrate, and he fails to penetrate again. So it goes back to Clement, and let's just ice the puck this time, and it's iced. And now, uh oh it's going to be an outside shot for Ben Wilson. His shot is a save, and it's going to go to the left defenseman. So leveling with the save. Let me just make sure I get my sounds off. Yep, sounds off. Thank you very much. And so it's going to go black back to Clement with 117 to play. Now Clement, it's showing him a skating of a... Oh, who has the puck now? Oh, Marsh has the puck. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, it's above the player. So this is kind of... I haven't played this in a while. So the puck's going to be above the player. So it's above Marsh. So Marsh has the puck, even though the puck is next to Clement. So we're just going to ice it here. And the puck is iced. Philadelphia loses it. Russell gets it. And so now the puck is with Russell. Now, I wonder if that's different. I know you can't roll your own dice. No, they keep talking about it, but you can't roll your own dice in this game, which would be fantastic if you could. 
Um, I don't know if this is new or if or if, if I'm just getting this confused with the other game, but the puck is with Russell, but it's next to McMillan. And that's something that I don't remember. I, I never was really confused about who had the puck in this game. But right now, it, it's confusing because it's next to McMillan, but the puck is indeed with Phil Russell. So I'm not liking that, unless that's how it's always been. It's been a while since I played this game, and I don't think I can even fire up the, the old game anymore because, you know, you, you install over this. But anyway, so uh, so we're still shorthanded. We're going to try to skate. And, yes, a 10 will be a skate, so there's 31 seconds left. Let's try to ice the puck. And the icing is blocked by Wilson. And Wilson's going to get it and get an inside shot. Wilson's going to shoot. That's going to be a save and a rebound. And the rebound will bounce in front, and it goes to McMillan, and the penalty is over. And so now it's the right wing Hislop with it now. Jamie Hislop. And so we'll flip an action card. And Hislop loses the puck to prop. And it's a possible breakaway. Daly gets it. Here comes Daly moving in. Daly's going to shoot this one, and that's going to be a save by Lemelin. Yeah, the puck's running a little high, I think. that The puck usually went in on Lemelin. He made the save, so the puck's running a little high, I think, at least at least on this version here. I should go try the um, the the better version and see what it does here. All right, so the rebound goes to the defense. I can see the win probability hasn't changed at all. It's still 54 to 46. So the game pretty much looks the same. So let's let's exit this game. Let's um close this game. And yes, we'll close the game out. And we'll save it. Okay, we'll save that as uh, Calgary, Philadelphia. Yeah, so all right. All right, so there's a little bit of that. Let's try now 74. Well, let's try something different. 92, 93. And if I go to Boston, if I go to Update Team, and I go to Boston, and I can put the Boston Bruins logo in here, we'll select black for their color. We'll select the Boston rink, which I think is in rinks. And Bruins right here. So that'll be their rink. And who do we want to play? Hartford? Hartford sounds good. So 92, 93, Hartford. And we're going to use the, the new system here. So let me put in Hartford colors just so you can see how to do the colors. The Whalers are green. And the Whalers rank is right here. Okay. So let's save that. And then did Boston save? No, I didn't save Boston. That's what I did. That's why I screwed up the last time. So I'm going to save that. Boston color is black. Save that. It did save the rinks, though. All right, Hartford. Hartford is good. Okay. All right, so we're going to close this out. We're going to do a new unscheduled game. Now, first, let's check the league. League options. Yeah, used, improved. We're not going to use the sound. We do want the animated puck. I like to change all this to one. To one. And then I like to go three and five on the defense that's just kind of how i set it up and uh, we're going to do the auto action card that might speed things up a little bit we're going to use uh, improve interface show board game info info we're not going to do detailed play by play okay so let's do a new unscheduled game in 92 93 and we're going to try the new improved interface and see what that looks like see if there's any changes that i, I always use the older one so we said it was going to be boston at Hartford. Now, the one crazy thing about this game here is uh, sometimes <laughs> you got to refresh the computer manager. All right, Reggie Mogan, Net John Blue is the backup. And for Hartford, uh, Sean Burke. Okay. And here's this. All right, so this is the new improved interface, if you will. So all the logos are in there. And let's see if this does anything different. Let's see if the puck looks a little bit better here as Larry shows up playing, as I'm playing some hockey tonight. All right, so let's go with the face-off. And a dice roll of six, home right D. So it's going to be, who is that, Eric Weinrich with the puck. And I got the auto card selected, so it's going to kind of breeze along here. So he loses the puck, and it's going to be an inside shot. It's going to go to, um, who had the puck now? Wesley. 
Wesley has the puck. And uh, Zola, now it's over to Ray Bork. Uh, we're going to try to intimidate. Yes. Uh, hits him hard. He may get a penalty. No penalty. Bork was knocked off the puck, and Zolapski has the puck. No, it's still kind of riding high. You can see that the defenseman has the puck, but where the puck is, it's showing near the forward. Um, I'm not sure if I'm liking the action card here. It's making the game go a little quicker, but I'm kind of sitting here doing nothing. So I'm going to have to wait for a break and maybe change that. So Reed penetrates, he gets inside, and I'm not liking the auto action card. And Reed shots a save, and we got a face off. All right, so now maybe I can change it. Nope. Well, there we go. All right, so we don't want the auto action card because I sit here and I do absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again now. And I'm not a big fan of this interface, and I don't think you can move this one around at all. Let's see if I can do that. No, nope. not at all. Can't do anything. Uh, you can put the pictures in here, which I don't like to use the pictures. The, and again, they should make this bigger. They have all the space. They really should make this bigger, and they and they really didn't. All right, so Bert has the puck, so we'll flip an action card. And it's an inside shot for any player. So let's send it over to... Who's got an offensive three? Yeah, all okay, right, so Patrick Poulin. We'll try to get it. Poulin is going to try to take the shot, and he will get inside. He's going to shoot this one. It's going to be a save by Moog and a rebound, and the rebound goes back to Poulin, and he's going to shoot this one, and that's going to be another save by Moog, and it's going to bounce to the right defense, and that's going to be David Shaw. Now, see, that looks good. See, the puck is with Shaw. So you see the puck is with Shaw, but I guess it's at the bottom. The bottom team to the one. That have the issue. And, oh, I just noticed this, too. Um, look at this. So, the I can't even see the offense-defense on this. This is interesting. So, below Sean Burke, I do not have... Yeah, look at that. I don't have the win probability at the bottom. Wow. I am... That is not good. Now, I, I know I'm using a custom rink, but still... Still, Sean Burke should be above this line, and then down below I should have the offense and the win probability. Yeah, so there's something. How about that? Um, so, yeah, not, not cool. So it's going to be a couple of penalties here. So Boston's going to go on the power play. But yeah, but check that out. So there's no no win probability here in this. So let's let's save this game. And we'll just call it Boston Hartford for right now. And let's um let's go back to my other game and see what's going on with that. So we're gonna open the California uh, the Calgary Philadelphia game. It shows it here. Interesting. Although it I have to set up my things again. So I would have to kind of grab this and move this around. It's kind of weird that it, it didn't save my setup. So, wow, I'm really kind of disappointed here. So if I take this here, I can move that over here. So the old interface is kind of neat because you can move all this stuff around. But I'm, I'm a little disappointed that it didn't save my setup when I left the game. So let's save the game. And, yes, let's replace it. But see, I get the win probability down here. Interesting. Hmm. Vale's going to take a shot. That's going to be a save and go to left D. So we're going to save this. All right, so we're going to save this game. And I want to try something else here. Well, while I have you here on the phone... All right, so let's leave this. So let's go back to my, was it 92, 93 that I had that set up? Yes, okay. So let's go to a new schedule, a new unscheduled game. And let's see, um, hang on a sec. Let's do this. Let's go to my league options and let, let's use the improved interface. 
Oh, that's what we were using. Oh, um, let's okay. Let's take that off and see what happens to the rink. Okay, that's because I want to see what happened with that rink because that that's something that's kind of concerning. So ninety two, ninety three, we'll go back to Boston at Hartford, and let's see how that looks. And we'll go computer and then computer this, and that looks good to me. And okay. So this is the old interface. So the old interface is see how it shows the win probability here? Hmm. Maybe it replaced burst with jockey. Yeah. Um, so this is the this is the old interface. And again, this is just a picture pack. So if I come over here to my game and I say uh, you know, get rid of the pictures and that'll go away. But this is the one here that I can move around. Well, if I get the corner correctly. So I can move this stuff around here. This is the old interface. So the old interface shows this pretty well. Hmm. I want to close this game. So if I go back to open a game, if I go back to my Boston Hartford, ah, see, there it is. Some reason... Now, let's try the Boston one. So let's go, let's do an unscheduled game. Oh, we want to use the, um, hang on a sec. We want to use the improved interface. Okay, I want to check this out with you guys right now while we're doing this. Um, this is very strange. Yes, I will agree. All right, so we're going to go a new unscheduled game, and we're going to go Hartford at Boston for 92.93 to see what the Boston logo looks like or the Boston rink. All right, so we're going to do Hartford. At Boston, and we're going to use the new improved interface, which I don't ever use, but I want to see what's going on here. And uh, visitor goalie, Burke, Mo, whatever, that's fine. All righty, so. Hmm. Now, this is where, so again, I think this is the standard rink. I might have, might have not saved the Boston rink, but there's no win probability. And it doesn't show my offense defense for the the home team down here. That's really weird. And that's what the you know the win probability was a big thing they talked about, and it's not in here. Oh, I I gotta fix some of the options in here. So if I I need to take off detail play by play is what I need to do. And uh, change if I mean. I forgot to change all my my cards here. Here we go. Alrighty, so yeah. So this is what I've noticed here that if I use the new improved interface, you cannot see the win probability. As we got a goal here by Adam Oates right off the bat. So Oates will score. And there's that animation there. So interesting. All right, let me let me close up. Cancel. Let's close this out. Uh, no, I don't want to save the game. All right, let's go back in one more time. So let me check my team update. Boston, did I have the rink in there? I did have the rink. So it didn't show the Boston rink. Interesting. I thought I had the Boston rink selected. So... There's that, there's that, there's that. Close. Let's try this one more time. New one scheduled game. From 92, 92, 93. Maybe I had the wrong league selected. That could be. All right, so here's that. Let's go to Hartford at Boston. Oh, there's the Boston rink. So I must have it wrong. I selected wrong. But still, it's not there. It's not there on the improved interface. It's not there. Yep. And that's one of the new features. And you can't even see what your offense and defense is. Now, maybe, is it, be no, I was, I was going to say, is it because that I'm playing as the home team? I don't think so. Because it didn't show it. On the other one there. So let's let's close out of here. All right, 92, 93. One last time. 
Oh, let's go to my options for the league. We're not going to use th use the improved. Okay, so here's that um, scaling. Oh, I forget what that was. Oh, that's the DPI. I don't want to touch that. All right, so new one scheduled. Let's go to Boston again. So 92, 93. We're going to use Hartford at Boston. And I will control the away team just to see what, what it does here. So I'll be this. That'll be that. And there it is. It's back. So if you use the old interface, it's the only way you can see the win probability. That I can see. That I can see. All right. One last check here. Again, this is a first look before I go to work tonight. I don't want to save it. So let's just discard. All right, let's just pick something I don't think I have set up. So if I want to update my teams. All right, so I don't have anything over here. This is all just standard, standard, standard. Okay. So if I go to 77, 78, I go to new one scheduled game. 77, 78. 77, 78. And we'll just pick a couple teams. Buffalo, and we'll pick St. Louis. All righty. Nope, there it is again. So, this is the first bug I've seen in the game, is that you can't see the offense and the defense and the win probability in the new interface. Interesting. That's interesting. So, so that's it, folks. Yeah, so that, that's a first look at the, the Strat Hockey. It's pretty much the same game. Again, if you go back to the beginning of the video, I reel off all the, the new things. Some of the big things are, you know, they fixed the shorthanded sequence if it was three on three or four on four. They fixed the empty net goals as far as you know, how they added to the stats. Also, they have a new way of sorting the stats for each player by the game log, which is probably going to be pretty neat to do. But, yeah. So the, the win probability was on the top of the list, and you can't see it in the new interface. You have to use the old interface to get the win probability, at least from what I've, when I've figured out tonight, at least for me, that's how it was. But anyway, um, so that's that. You know, that's uh, that's the new Strat Hockey. Um, I do like some of the, the things that they fix behind the scenes with the, with the empty nets and the shorthanded and the stats and things like that, so that's kind of neat. But you know, if you're going to advertise win probability, you got to have it in there. So unless I'm doing something wrong, but when I just went with a standard game, it wasn't in there. At least I didn't see it. Only when I used the old interface. So anyway. Hey, so I'm Dave. That's a first look at the new Strat Hockey PC game here, the 20, I think it's the 2023 version, because this is 2023, the 2023-24 version, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah, so that is that. You know, some good, some bad, I guess. Not, not a big change, but they did fix a few things, so. Might need to mess uh, with it. Yeah, I might have to kick it around a little bit more, exactly right, you know. But, boy, I tell you, um... And Steve says, uh, this does not look good for a digital game. If this is my only digital option, I turn back the cards and dice. Well, it's supposed to be, the idea behind this one is it's, um, is it's supposed to be a PC version of cards and dice. So it's not supposed to be all nice and dressy and, and, and look good. It's supposed to just allow you to play cards and dice on the computer. Sadly, you can't roll your own dice. I think that would make a huge difference in the game if you could roll your own dice, but you can't. So... But there it is. Anyway, that's the, the good, bad, and the ugly with the new version. It's it's definitely not worse, you know, that's for sure. Um, but is it is it a must-buy? I don't know. That's what we did the show on today. Uh, yearly PC purchases. Are they must-buy? What's a must-buy? What's going to get you to buy it? I bought it so I could play the Bruins and the, and the Oilers. I'm going to play them in some Stanley Cup games here. Um, but I'm going to have to use the old interface if I want to see the win probability, which is it's a new feature, so I want to use it. And that's the other thing I talked about. I want to see see something different in the game visually, and that was one thing I saw, but not on the on the new interface. Very interesting. So, but again, it's not supposed to be a it's not supposed to be eye candy. It's supposed to just be a a basic way of playing the the cards and dice game is what it's supposed to be. So, anyway, uh, yeah, if it was on Steam, it'd be much better. But it's just kind of how Strat does it. 
They just kind of do it their own way, and you just got to work around it the best you can. It's still a fun game, and I still enjoy playing it from time to time. It's not my go-to game by any means, but when I'm in the mood for strat and I don't want to set up the cards, which take up a lot of space on my table, then yeah, I'll, I'll go with that one there. So anyway, hey, I'm Dave, and that's a look at Strat PC Hockey 2023. And we'll talk to everybody later. I got to go to work. Bye-bye.